All right, today we're just going to finish out our last day of uh, factoring polynomials. Just going to do a few more examples of the cube type and then move on for the, to the homework that was due yesterday. So I have x cubed plus 8. We know that this 8 is the same as 2 to the third, and the x is just x to the third. So my a would be x, and my b would be 2. And so now I'm plugging them into our formula. This would be x plus 2, and then x squared, and then it's minus ab, which would be 2x, and then plus b squared, which would be 2 squared, and that's 4. So that's that one. Pretty easy. Not too bad at all. Move on to the next one, x cubed minus 27. Again, this is x to the third, so a is x. B, if I look at what negative 27 is, that's going to be 3 to the third, so that's 3. And now I'm just using my formula. First, it's a minus b, so that would be x minus 3. And then x squared. And then it's plus a times b, so 3x, plus b squared, which would be 9. Final answer, can't factor any further. Lastly, we have x cubed minus 64. Uh, 64 is the same as 4 to the third. And then that would just be x. So it's going to be a minus b, so that's x minus 4. And then x squared minus ab, which would be 4x. And then it's going to be, oops, sorry, that's a plus. And then it's going to be plus 4 squared, which is 16. So those are just a couple more examples from our factoring polynomials especially whenever we have the cubics. All right, on your homework yesterday, this is where we were supposed to use the remainder theorem and tell whether it had a remainder or not, or whether it was a factor or not. All I would have had to do was plug in my negative 3. This would be negative 2 times negative 3 to the third. That's negative 27 minus 9 times negative 3 squared. That's 9 minus 4 times negative 3 plus 8. Negative 2 times negative 27, that's going to give me a positive uh, 54. Minus 81 plus 12 plus 8. 54 minus 81 is going to be uh, negative... 27, sounds right, plus 20, it gives me negative 7, so this would not be a factor. Number 2, plug it in, 2 cubed is 8, minus 4 times 2 squared, that would be 16, plus 15, that is 7, so also not a factor. Number three, plug in a six. Six to the third. Is two sixteen. Then that would be minus nine times thirty six. plus 21 times 6, and then minus 20, which is negative 2. Still not a factor. Number 4, do negative 4 to the 4th, that's 256. And then it would be minus 256 is 4 to the third is 64, 
times 4. So that would be negative 64 times 4, which would be 256. So it's 256 minus 256. Those cancel out. 3 times 16, that's 48. And then 17 times 4 times negative 4 is negative 68. So negative 68 plus 48, that is negative 20 plus 27 is 7. Number 5, we're just doing negative 5 to the 4th. That's 625. Plus 10 a to the third, so then that would be 625 minus 1250, which would be negative 625, and then plus 20 times 25. be negative 125 then plus 150 should be 25 minus 34 which is negative 9. Number 6 we're doing 5 to the 4th that's 625 and then it's negative so that's going to give us negative 625. 5 to the third is 125. So it would be negative 125. So negative 7 times negative 125. That's 875, and that would be positive. So we have 625, which was negative, plus 875. That's 250 so far. Then negative 5 squared gives us 25 times 8 is 200. So that's 50. 16 times negative 5, that's negative 30, and then plus 30 gives us 0. So we have our first actual factor. All right, number 7. Now we're going to factor these just by grouping. Group the first ones together. And then the second one's together. I get uh, pull out an x squared. That leaves me with x plus 4. Pull out a negative 4. That leaves me with x plus 4. x plus 4 comes out in front. And then it's x squared minus 4. This is a difference of two squares, so I can break that down further. It's going to be x plus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Next one. Group them together. I can pull out x squared. It gives me x plus 3. Pull out a 4. That gives me x plus 3. This would be x plus 3 times x squared plus 4. This will not simplify because it's not a difference of two squares. So we're done. Number nine. This one looked harder because there was no, nothing to pair with this back x. But it wasn't so bad, actually. All you had to do was realize you could factor out x from each. That gives you x squared plus 5x plus 6. And then can you factor this out further? You actually can because it would be 2 times 3 gives me 6, and 2 plus 3 
gives me 5. This would be x plus 2 and x plus 3. And last one, you factor out an x squared, gives me x plus 2. Factor out a negative 5, gives me x plus 2. And just regroup them together. x plus 2 times x squared minus 5. This won't simplify because this is not a perfect square. So I'm done. All right, you're going to have a homework with some more of this tonight. And then you're also going to have uh, the cubic ones that we've been doing so far.